Congratulations and thanks for signing up with Web Starts. In this short video, I'll show you how to begin creating your very own custom website. The view you're looking at now is called the dashboard. It's where you'll find site-wide settings, features, and apps. To edit the pages of your website, hover over the thumbnail and click Edit Site. This will load the Web Starts page editor. The page editor will load the home page by default, but you can select any page from your website that you would like to edit from the drop down menu. If you'd like to add a new page to your website, click Add New Page. Website pages are divided into three main sections. The top section is called the header, the bottom section is called the footer, and everything in between is called the body. Design elements placed in the header and footer will appear in the same location on each page of your website. This makes it the perfect place to put things like your logo, business name, and website navigation menu. That way your visitors will have a consistent experience while navigating your website. Each page of your website is made up of design elements. Design elements are things like text boxes, images, slideshows, photo galleries, and anything else you want to appear on your website. To edit the content of a design element, click to select it and then click the edit icon attached to it. Here I'm editing a text box. I can select the text and then change the font style, size, and color. To change the appearance of an element, click to select the element, then click on the style icon. This will allow you to do things like change the color. All of your design elements are drag and drop. That means they can be dragged and placed wherever you'd like them to be displayed on a page. Use the guidelines and the arrow keys on your keyboard to precisely align elements with each other. Duplicate an element by clicking to select it and clicking the duplicate icon. Use the smart handle to create space on a page. Dragging the smart handle down the page will push all of the design elements below it down the page along with it. Add new elements to your page by clicking the Add icon on the sidebar. Select the type of element you would like to add and drag it to the location where you would like it to be displayed. Create a link from an element by clicking to select the element, then clicking the Settings icon. Click the Link To field and select where or what you would like to link to. Then click Create Link. Click the Save icon to save changes to your page. Click the View Site button to see what your changes look like on the web. You can add apps to your website, like an online store, blog, or live chat. To do this, click the link to return to the dashboard in the page editor. On the dashboard, click the App panel for the app that you would like to enable. Once the app is enabled, you'll be able to click on the panel in order to manage the app. To share your website with the rest of the world, you're going to want to add your own domain name. That can be a .com, .net, .org, or any other top-level domain. To do this, click the Add Domain button. Next, select whether you're registering a new domain name or using an existing one that you've previously registered with another company. Enter the desired domain name into the field provided and click Search. Verify that the domain name that you've entered is available and click Continue. Note that you must upgrade to a paid WebStarts subscription in order to register a new domain name or connect an existing domain name to work with your website. After you've subscribed to a WebStarts paid plan, the domain name will begin to work right away. 